Hey everyone, welcome to Her Say. We had such a fun week, and Jill, it was so fantastic this having was fun. you. You're gonna have to kick me out. Aww. I don't wanna leave. Well, we love you. <laughs> and here are the highlights from the week. So, Pop Sugar talks about a recent interview that Brad Pitt did, saying how he and Angelina actually announced to their kids, okay, mom and dad are going off to kiss now. Is this cute or awkward? I think it's important for your kids to see affection. And in the same way that I feel like if we sometimes have a debate, but it's important for them to sometimes see that also because they know it's real life. So, you know, I think a healthy amount of affection is, is nice. Okay, everyone, so now we're gonna go to Sarah James from world.com with some awesome beauty news. Hi, ladies, how are you? Good. So good, I'm, I'm totally into these stories. <laughs> <laughs> this is an idea that I'm absolutely in love with. It is a new paint and peel nail polish by Sula. And I saw this on Refinery29, and basically there's 13 colors, they're adorable, but when you paint them on and you're ready to take it off, you can peel it off in one piece. Super easy for girls on the go. Thank you so much, Sarah. You're I'm so welcome. excited to see you next time. All Always right. love your Bye. stories. Bye. Bye, ladies. Now moving along to um, a story that we found on MSN, William and Kate, the brand new royal couple, they're gonna have uh, their pictures on the cover of Vanity Fair. And I thought this was so touching because it's exactly 14 years after Diana was on the cover. Isn't that sweet? I'm really excited and also I love that it's the same photographer. Right. Mario Testino did both right. photos, so I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I, I love it. I'm kind of obsessed and kind of fascinated um, by the royal couple. All right, everybody, we found a story on the stir, basically talking about the free range kids movement. A mom was actually thrown in jail for letting her little children walk a full mile to the store by themselves. I kind of have mixed feelings about this. <laughs> I'm very protective. Yeah. I try to give them freedom, but it's that, always that balance, yeah. you know? Babel has an article about babies and perfumes and talking about is it sacrilegious or sensational? What do you think? Totally sacrilegious. I love that new baby smell. I love that smell more than anything. And if you bottled that up, I would buy it. Yeah, exactly. What happens when you bring your kid into a bar? Or a baby for that matter. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know, I actually, I lived this about two weeks ago. My husband and I were hungry. We took the stroller up to a place that happened to serve you know, booze with burgers. We wanted a hamburger and they said no, 21 and over. And I was flabbergasted. I was glad that I was slapped back to reality because I kind of figured, you know what, this isn't okay. From babies in bars to babies on the internet now, Babbel also posted another story about Tori Spelling launching a blog totally dedicated to her daughter Stella's fashion choices. For me, I do not mention my daughter's name on my blog just for privacy purposes. So I'm kind of having a little problem thinking that Tori would want to put her daughter out there. Okay, so one of my absolute favorite websites is The Daily Beast, and they had this great article, Confessions of an Ivy League Cleaning Lady, <laughs> which is so interesting because this woman is making $140,000 or more cleaning up after the students. Yeah, talk about smart. I wish <laughs> I would have thought of this. Okay, that was so much fun. So much I fun. I had it such by. a blast with you. Me too. Truly. Me too. <laughs> okay, everyone, please come back and join us at hersay.com. Leave your feedback, your stories, tell us what you're thinking, and don't forget to sign up for our daily newsletter. Bye.